So is it a scam when they say that you could make money, start an Airbnb business without having your own property? It's just a lot of videos. Here's one myself, but I'm going to prove to you with the guy that I'm going to be interviewing on this channel, which is why you definitely want to uh, actually subscribe. But anyway, he has 65 listings on Airbnb. Let me show you the one that I was staying in right here called Mario Azul. And if you've been on my channel any amount of time, you remember when I was in Mexico. So I was staying right off the beach in this beautiful place right here. And this is how much you would pay per month. And this is total right here. So we're going to see exactly how much that is. For those of you who think I'm just making this up, let's go ahead and check the reviews and see if we can find me on Airbnb in 2021. This is during the scamdemic. Here I go right here from Mexico, Missouri, David right here. So now you might be wondering, well, how would I make money with this? Well, I'm going to show you a script right here a little bit later. And you're going to see how we can go about not having to use anyone's property, not having to even manage the property. All right. So this guy that I'm gonna be interviewing is already managing the property and it's not his property. So now we're taking it a step further where we're not gonna manage it, deal with any messages or anything like that. We're just gonna help them get more bookings. Now watch this, can I list someone else's property on Airbnb? Now this plays into the script that I'm gonna give you guys. So pay attention, cause a lot of you guys might be nervous. And this is literally just copy and paste, which is why we have the course below called copy and paste rentals. You're not going to do anything other than copy and paste these properties that are making thousands of dollars per month and get your cut. So it says, yes, you can manage someone else's property as long as the owner consents. Such management may include listing the property on Airbnb and other related sites dealing with bookings. But that's what Matt would do. I don't want to do that. So when I was talking to Matt, back then i was like yo i can get you some more bookings and just in case you guys don't believe me this is what i started doing i started using my skill set trade and barter to get lower rent and and all of these extra cool things that i know how to do and teach you guys so look this is where it is a a rich area apply a car phase one long-term rentals and then let's see if we're still ranking this is a year and some change later okay here we go this is mine right here got my call fire number right there so proof in the freaking pudding baby so yes we do do this david does this all right so now we want to see how much we can actually make so let's come back up to this because it says that a, a, a co-host might get around 20 to 30 percent so we know that he's going to get around 20 to 30 percent we're going to take this right here we're going to copy this and i'm going to give you guys a script don't leave. I'm giving you everything, everything, everything. So we're going to say what's 30% uh, uh, of this. Okay, boom. So that gives us $2,936. So now that is what he would get, okay? So we can't get that because he's the one managing the listing and going out and getting the deals and everything. But what we can get is 10 percent or even 8 percent of his. Uh, uh, let's just do 8 percent. OK, 8 percent of his 30 uh, percent that he gets. Boom. That will give us 234 bucks. But me, what I like to negotiate is a little bit uh, under half. So we get 10% and boom. So there we go. We got almost 293 bucks from a listing that we didn't have to reach out to the owner. We didn't have to get the furniture because his furniture be off the chain. Matt's furniture at all of his uh, 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 listings be off the damn chain. So I highly recommend them if you guys are in Mexico, okay? <laughs> but anyway, so we don't have to furnish it. We don't have to deal with anybody or nothing like that. This is completely remote. So now that is just for one of his listings. Let's say that we want to do this for the rest of his listings, okay? So he has 65 listings. He got 65 listings, guys. And are you guys starting to see the money, the fact that, okay, I got to show you the script and then you'll see how easy it is, but <laughs> the money adds up. So we're going to say, uh, let's say he gives us a little bit 
under half of his listings. Okay, so we got two hundred and ninety three dollars times we'll just we'll just say 30 listings and we can get them booked up. OK, booked up for months. He likes to have monthly uh, bookings. Right. So, boom, this is eight thousand seven hundred and ninety bucks per month off of listings that we didn't have to structure the deal. We don't have to furnish it. We don't have to deal with refunds. We don't have to deal with any of that extra stuff. Now, what would you send these people? So. All right. So this is the script right here. So first of all, you want to find airbnbs that aren't getting booked up see he's booked like he, he gets booked okay he gets booked but what you want to do is you want to find airbnbs near landmarks that are not getting booked they don't have reviews or anything like that and that's perfect why because watch this your blank listing so that's three bedroom four bathroom airbnb listing uh for only seven thousand dollars per month i use the word only on purpose so that they can feel like yeah man i priced it right right people should book at that price point <laughs> okay so listing for blank per month is a steal that's why i'm so confused so now you're relating to them you're like because they're thinking like damn why ain't nobody booking yet it's been on here for three four weeks and nobody's booked yet right so i was wondering why it wasn't booked up for the year or have any reviews when you offer so many amenities. You see what I'm saying? So the, the best way to sell, well, we don't, we don't want to use sales tactics, but you want to mirror how a person is feeling, right? When they feel that you can relate to them, it, it becomes uh, uh, easier for them to trust you and want to do something with you. Okay. So it says it's also in a good location but hasn't had any bites yet. It's not the price either. See, so I'm I'm doing uh, uh, canceling, right? So I, we canceling everything out that it could be. So so we can lead them to the path of like, well, like I don't know what to do. But then I say, I have an idea of what it could be. You're near a few landmarks that I believe can draw in an extra booking or two this month. Now that sounds good. I didn't over promise or, or anything like that. They don't have any bookings at all. Remember that, guys. So this sounds like paradise to them. I'm requesting permission. Remember what uh, uh, Google said? Can Is it legal? As long as you got permission, right? I'm requesting permission to show your listing to people near these landmarks because I believe this can get you booked for the year. <laughs> don't that sound good because the whole point of putting these properties on airbnb is for passive income like i'm currently in airbnb and we paid up months and they living good and they happy as hell right so it says i don't need you to pay me if it works then we just say just give me what i just say over there uh eight percent okay uh just give me eight percent and we can continue or not. Boom. There we go. So, I mean, that's it. No pressure. What do they have to lose? Nothing, right? So, check this out. So, now, what is the strategy? Okay. So, we'll say uh, uh, um, short term. We'll say uh, houses for rent near. Okay. So, we want, watch this. Watch this. Uh, popular landmarks uh, near, I mean, popular landmarks in St. Louis, okay? All right. All right, so now, boom, let's see. So we have famous landmarks in St. Louis. We got the Gateway Arch. You know, I'm from St. Louis. Uh, we got the brewery, and that's on the south side uh historical landmarks blah 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 okay okay gateway arch jefferson barracks campbell house grants form okay so we'll say house home home houses for rent so usually this is going to be uh, uh, people trying to like pay and get on the lease. So what we want to do is we want to go after hotels. My bad. Hotels near grants form. Look at that. <laughs> yes, low it. Okay, so now we got hotels near grants form. 
St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, so when a person searches for that, of course, you know what I'm saying, like they're going to pop up with the regular actual hotels. But people, when they, that's why they created an entire site called Home Away From Home or Home Away. Because people rather stay in a dang on home because you get to dictate what's going on, the noise levels, if there's any people around, where you can park, how much you can eat, and no hidden like fees and all that extra bull crap. So check this out, what we can do is we can either run an ad just like you see right here and we'll name it exact match hotels near grants form st louis missouri and we send them to the listing but not just that what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to play around with the name based off of uh based off of keywords okay so we'll say better better than hotels near Grants Form, St. Louis, Missouri. We want to use Airbnb SEO because this is a parasite. Okay. We want to use parasite rankings. Okay. So we would name this better than hotels near Grants Form in St. Louis or, or uh three bedroom uh, uh, better than hotels near St. Louis Arch. Watch this. Let's say Motel rooms near St. Louis Arch. Okay, so hotels near St. Louis Arch and Zoo. See, this is, is good. And then we had another one, another keyword right here. Look, hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool. Okay. Uh, so choose three bedroom home over hotels are, we'll say, instead of hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool, choose this property. Boom. See, we're getting creative now. So now what will happen, we get to leverage the power of Airbnb's parasite rankings and everything like that to rank on the first page of Google. And if you want to, you can put up a super cheap ad for this exact match keyword right here for pennies. And now you'll start getting traffic to the uh, the listing. So what you're going to do is you're once he gives you permission, so you're just going to inbox these people, the people that don't have any reviews or don't have any bookings, you're going to inbox them the script. And once they re reply, you don't have to take any pictures, hire any photographer or nothing. You simply go and uh, download all of these. Or if they have some up, uh, updated photos, you ask them about that. And then you download them. Then you create a profile on here. And then you upload the images. You can even take uh, the same description they got. But you want to remember to use keywords. If you're not good at SEO, then uh, you know, but if you if you're decent, you know, and you and you get the point of uh of of keyword optimization, you can take this keyword right here, and you can go to ChatGPT and ask for different variations of this keyword, and to write me a keyword SEO optimized description for my Airbnb listing to get people to choose my Airbnb listing over hotels in, near St. Louis Zoo, right? With indoor pools, boom, and you just want to. Make sure that you are listing that this has a pool and is indoor and all of that extra stuff. Soon it's going to be optimized. Now, when any anytime someone searches for this keyword right here, this keyword right here, and then they go into Airbnb, this listing or the listing that you create is going to automatically show up. So you can have a VA or yourself constantly reaching out to people on Airbnb, asking them uh, or sending them this script right here. And when they respond and say, yes, you simply have the VA or yourself snatch the imagery, snatch the images or videos, and then go and create a new listing with the new name. The new name, remember what we said, is instead of hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool, choose this three-bedroom or something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so this is super simple, guys. And you can just post and post and post and post and post and post, copy and paste listings until you make a crap load of money with this method right here. All right, love you guys. Told you I was going to show you everything. Go on the first pin, comment, join the copy and paste rentals community. It comes with a course. It comes with coaching. And we can't wait to see you.